Well, hello, I'm at work and no one's here, so I'm gonna vlog really quick. Welcome to Vloon day 12. I am working and I just got lunch at one of my favorite places. I didn't bring my camera in because I don't usually like hang around with a purse or anything. So I've just got like my wallet and keys and phone and that's it. But I need to turn you around and show you my favorite lunch. It's every Monday is goulash day and it's freaking delicious. So. Every Monday I go there, and this is like my one like indulgence that I get. So I go out to eat every Monday, but yes, I get goulash, so let me, let me show you. And the lady like completely like overflowed me. Like that is so much, oh my gosh. But it's amazing. There's like a like crusted cheese cover on it too, but that's like, it's like underneath. So anyway, I just had to show you guys this because it's amazing. If you guys are ever in Fridley, Minnesota, I'll put somewhere down below their either website or Facebook page. Actually, fun fact, used to work for Bob's Produce back in the day, like a long time ago. I worked in their bakery and deli section, which is where you get the goulash. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's, it's just so good. It's so good. And they have the best lunch because they've got hot stuff. They've got cold stuff. They got an amazing salad bar. Um, they've got this guy named Tom and he does like sandwiches every day of the week like monday through friday and they're usually hot sandwiches not always but ugh, it's just funny and he's hilarious so anyway i uh, highly recommend bob's produce and i'm gonna eat my lunch now before it gets cold and then i've got a lot of work to do today so pray for me hey guys it is 4 45 woo oh my gosh almost two extra hours today but there was just so much to take care of today and it's a Monday, which makes my life even more hectic. Mondays and Fridays are like the worst at my job, but that's okay. I got it all done. And every time I went to go back in the like workshop to go see my boss, there was like three or four more things added to my list. And it's like, okay, then I was like, all right, do you need anything else? Yep, three or four more things added to my list to like take care of. So I'm like, ugh. Anyway, but it all got taken care of, which is good. People are happy today, which is good. So I'm happy, but I am gonna finally get going home, but I'm gonna stop at the townhouse first. My mom was there and did a little bit of painting. I didn't show you guys this on Saturday, the last day I was there, but we actually did one coat to the interiors of the exterior doors, if that makes sense. The homeowner decided to paint them the same color as the like entryway walls, and we are painting them back to white. So we only did one coat on Saturday, and my mom went over there today for just a little bit, did a second coat, but she's like, it definitely needs three coats, if not more, because it was such a dark color underneath there, and they're like metal doors, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna head over there, and I will show you guys around, and I'm actually gonna unload some of the stuff I got at Walmart so I will show you what I got at Walmart too because it's really not that interesting but you guys find it interesting so let's show it all right I am getting loopy so I am gonna go and listen to some Dave Ramsey on the way home and I'll see you guys in just a moment well hello I am at the townhouse Whoa! let's check out the front entryway this is where my mom was working today let's Oh, there's light. Wow. Okay. So these are the doors I was talking about. Let me give you a little bit of a close view. So I don't know if you can see it on camera. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's a little streaky because the dark is still like wanting to come through, but it can't come through. So anyway, um, I think we definitely need at least one more coat, maybe even two. I don't know. So we'll see. Um, oh, and then my mom ended up putting up like all of the switch plate covers back on, even though like some of them are changing, but yeah. Um, oh, and then when my mom was here, the Target delivery came and these are, doot, there we go, hello. Um, these are the shears that I'm using for the two windows right there, both windows. And yeah, I don't know, I kinda like it. Oh. There was a few people that wanted to see the backyard, so like, let's go see the backyard. It's really freaking boring back here, but whatever. Okay, so I think I showed this before, but I've got this like nice little awning. Um, it's not like drilled into the ground or anything, but it's just you know, there. And the cool thing about this unit is that they actually poured a double pad so you can like have more space, which is kind of nice. 
And then I have like a little privacy on that side and on this side. I've been getting a lot of questions too if I'm fencing this. I can't fence it because I live in an association and they don't let me. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um, also, that's the interstate right there. That's about as loud as it's ever gonna get because it's rush hour right now, which is like nothing. But um, on the other side of that berm right there is like a little walking path. So I think that'll be nice. And then um, the original homeowner left these and then left this as well. But trust me, it's not my favorite, but it'll do. And let me get real with you guys for a second. I am not an outdoorsy person because the outdoors doesn't like me and my body. So I don't like it. Um, like, see that welt on my arm? I don't know if you can see it very well. It's like in the middle of your screen right now. You see that? Yeah, that's a bug bite. It was like a little tiny mosquito. It doesn't matter. My skin like welts up like crazy and I, I want to itch it so freaking bad, but I can't because if I itch it, it will scar and the scars will last up to, I don't know, I think I have scars like on my hands from like years ago. Yeah, it's really irritating, but I live in Minnesota. There's a lot of mosquitoes and there's a lot of, I mean, like, like a bug lands on me and I welt up. It's just disgusting, but that's way TMI today. But I told you guys that I was going to show you my Walmart haul from Saturday that I never got to show you. So let's flip you around and I'll show you because it's, it's on the ground. So Walmart haul, I ended up getting one of these. Um, this is one of those like gel mat things and I've always wanted one. So I figured, I would get one. <laughs> um, I think it'd be nice like in front of the sink or I don't know, maybe in front of the stove. I don't know, I just thought it looked nice. It was like 25 bucks. Um, okay, so I also got this. Er, this is, this is a little steamer. Oh, that's the Espanol side. I'll show the English side for all my English speaking peoples. Um, yeah, I thought this would be nice for, you know, like the drapes and stuff. So I think this is only like $12. So if it doesn't work, I'm going to take it back, but we'll see. Okay. So here is the rods that I was really excited about. These are the better homes and gardens add or black finish add on drapery rod. And it expands out to 120 inches. So I'm excited. Um, I actually was kind of playing with the tape measure here and this is like 106 which is, which is like the minimum of what I want to do if you guys can like kind of see it it's so hard because this is all like blown out but I want it to cover like quite a bit of this big wall because I just I don't know I think it would look nice and I guess if it doesn't look nice then it's all my fault right <laughs> also this little rod is going upstairs so it's just like a little tension rod and then my mom picked these out which I'm kind of debating about still but let's bring them upstairs and look so this color I think is called stone yeah stone and I don't know if it's gonna look good with the paint I was thinking about it and thinking about it and I just I don't know actually it doesn't look that horrible it's hard to see because it's so like blown out but yeah, it actually doesn't look that bad. I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh, and this is, this is the actual panel of the outside of the packaging. It's got a little bit of like that crinkle to it. That's just like kind of how it is. But yeah, so it would just like go in here, but it would be a sheer. So I got two panels. My mom's gonna just hand hem them cause she's, very good at that and I am not so leave that up to the mama and then oh, the wood wall is done these little scuff marks my mom came up here today and actually just sanded some of the areas because there were like some drip marks that happened after we left on Saturday which obviously I had a lot of coats of paint on there but that's okay and um I'll end up redoing that this Saturday when I'm here again so yeah so I think the plan is for this Saturday, since I know people are gonna ask, is um, I'm gonna start doing like the baseboards. You see that we already dripped right here? I don't even care because I'm painting that shit white. <laughs> um, okay, 
So I think I'm gonna start doing the baseboard here. The steps, I don't know if I wanna tackle that yet, but I, I mean, I do wanna tackle it, but I don't wanna tackle it. And then I wanna do all the trim up here, at least on the floor, like down here. This rail, my God, I would love to get this done, but I just, I just don't know if I'm gonna get this done before I move in. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I do. But I need to get this all sanded and kills the these boards on the like the casings i'm not going to worry about these until after i move in because literally i can do this on a weekend just fine but my biggest concern is all the stuff by the carpet because that is going to be such a pain in the butt to do after i move in so whatever um so yeah all the baseboards and then baseboard baseboard all the baseboards in here as well um, I'm not so concerned with that window. I mean, I'd like to get it done, but it doesn't like have to happen, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this window done for sh well, I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure. And then all the baseboards in here, and I would love to actually get the like casing trim done in here too, just to have it done in my bedroom so it doesn't smell like paint in here. Um, and then the um, window casing as well. So yeah, I mean this room I want to do the entire thing just because it's my bedroom and I just I want to get it done. And by the way, I'm like really loving this paint color. Like when it's super bright outside, it looks so gray without like any of my stuff in here. But when it's overcast outside, it actually looks like more on the grayish spectrum, which is what I was looking for anyways. But I think once I get those curtain rods up downstairs, it'll be a little bit less bright. And also once I get some stuff in rooms, it'll start to kind of like suck the color, if you will. <laughs> oh, I just, I'm like loving this pink color. It's so good. But yeah, like this dark, like I like, I like it when it's dark. I don't know. Anyway, so that is what's going on now. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up my vehicle with all the things that I need to return from Lowe's that I bought last week. And then it's actually my dad's birthday tomorrow, but I don't know what he like wants to do for dinner. I talked about that in my plan with me, so who the heck knows. But I think we're gonna go out to dinner tonight because my mom is at a exercise class, so she's probably not gonna get home till like eight o'clock because it's like quite a distance away from where she lives. I think we're gonna go grab some dinner somewhere, but I don't know for sure. But I'm gonna load up my car, get that stuff ready, and then I will just check in when I check in. How does that sound? I am now home for the evening and talk to my dad. He is not in the mood to eat anything right now. Apparently he had some Taco John's last night that is still not agreeing with his system, so. I think he's learning from his experience, but I figured I'd show you guys what I'm eating for dinner. So let me turn you around. I think this is like a really odd dinner, but um, I have this a lot, unfortunately. So anyway, um, we had two more slices of bread, so I decided to go for a grilled cheese. And then, since I don't like any of my food to touch, and I'm obsessed with pickles, I have like a whole bowl of pickles. And then I've got my water. My tripod's still on the dining table. I need to take that off. And because I have cheese, I've got a dog right here. Hi. Hi. I gave him a little piece of cheese while I was grilling it. Hi, Doodle. Little Doyle dog. You're so funny. All right. Well, I'm going to start eating that before it gets cold, and I will talk to you guys soon. Oh, and I love pickles. Does anybody else out there really just enjoy pickles? I could just eat the whole jar in one sitting, but I hear that's not great for you. Hi. All right, so it is pretty late. Well, late for me. It's like 9.45, 9.50, somewhere in there. And, oh, I am beat for the day. I just took my NyQuil, so yay, so I can sleep. But, oh, I still have like, I still cough at night, so I need to take NyQuil to just suppress the cough so I can actually get like a good night's sleep. So, I don't know, the summer cold is like totally beating my rump here. So, hopefully, at some point, I won't have to rely on NyQuil to like actually have a restful sleep. So, who knows? But I'm gonna close out the vlog here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And, um, yeah, I don't know what's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow's my dad's birthday. 
He's turning the big seven zero. So today is his last day in his 60s and there's only a couple more hours to go. So I think he's gonna make it to 70 guys. I think he's gonna do it. But we don't really have any plans. The one restaurant that he was like thinking about going to actually isn't open until like Wednesday or something. They're doing some construction either like in the parking lot or like in the actual restaurant. I don't know. So we might go grab something for dinner. We might not, I have no idea. And he's actually gonna be in my neck of the woods tomorrow doing some painting randomly with a friend. So he didn't paint anything in my house, but he's gonna go paint his friend's new like Taekwondo studio, so whatever. Anyway, well, it's his birthday. He can do whatever the heck he wants, I guess. And he's retired, so he gets to do whatever the heck he wants all the time. But anyway, I am gonna jet here for tonight. I am so beat and so tired. <sighs> I hope tomorrow is an easier day, but I suspect that it won't be. Sometimes I wish, like this is a total tangent here, but sometimes I wish I could talk to the vlog about a lot more things than what I can talk to about it because I feel like you guys are like my pals, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, because this is so public, YouTube, you can see it anywhere. I wish I could say certain things I can't say. Ugh, anyway. It's just personal stuff, not bad personal stuff. Like not bad personal like for me, but just like, just talking about my day and like just, you know, like just the minor irritations and things, but like I kind of have to be PC, like political correctness and take people's feelings into consideration that may or may not watch these videos. So I don't know, I'm in a venti mood <laughs> and I've actually already like vented to like both my parents. So thank goodness that like they're around, but oh, Anyway, it's just it's just been one of those days. It's been one of those weeks. It's been one of those months. It's just insanity. So anyway, I'm gonna go because I need to go to bed and like take my makeup off and just like <sighs> for the day. Hope you guys are enjoying Vloon. I will see you guys tomorrow with more good stuff and tomorrow because today's Monday, so you're seeing this on Tuesday. So tomorrow is Wednesday, so you're gonna see me twice on Wednesday because I'm gonna do a vloon and I have a regular, ske regularly scheduled video coming up. So stay tuned for that, but make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you're liking the vloons. And also, you know, leave a comment and tell me something good. I don't know. You can comment about anything. It's fine. Right down there. That's, that's where you do it. Also, feel free to hit the red subscribe button. Um, I'm doing obviously vloon but it's every day in the month of june i am vlogging but the uploads kind of happen randomly sometimes they're in the morning sometimes in the afternoon and sometimes like late into the evening um but i am trying to upload every single day regardless of my normal posting schedule so that's not really affected by it all right i'm like rambling on now because i'm like deliriously tired but i gotta go and i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys